What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Flicking on My Big Tarot. I am your spirit guide host, Miss DC. Here, I will be bringing you the beauty, juice, and spiritual truths. Okay, now I decided I was going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to start giving universal messages. So that just means that instead of having one particular zodiac sign, I'm talking to all of you. So, cross watchers. That's all y'all. Join in, tune in. Okay, please utilize this information for the most positive purpose. Um, these are gonna be general readings. So to whoever it resonates with, everybody isn't going through the same situation at the same time. So I'm sure in a sense we can all relate, kind of like when an artist or a musician goes to a concert, they don't just talk to one general sign, they talk to all the signs. Um, multitude of a little bit of everybody so um, whatever message gets downloaded is just to whoever it resonates with you know and generally a song can resonate with majority you know if not all so yes um, yeah so I hope you all can resonate I know everybody may not want to acknowledge certain things but um, I just come more with factual and uh, more um, experience-wise information. On top of that, I'm very, very spiritual, and I don't believe anything can trump, <laughs> okay, the higher powers. So, um, yeah, we all just kind of operate on a different type of level. So I'm just going to connect with y'all the way I know how, I just logged into work here and the higher powers are gonna download what needs to come out to you all. So I'm glad to be the one to give y'all this information, okay? So yes, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and start your reading all for whoever it applies to. Spirit told me to talk to you, so I will be using um, a variation, a larger variation of decks. Um, the Moonology Oracle card deck, the Modern Witch Tarot deck, the Light Sears Tarot deck, the Romance Angels Tarot deck, and the Everyday Tarot deck. Um, and once I post this, everything is going to be in the description, so you all will better be able to see, you know, what all I have. So with the Moonology Oracle card deck, I feel like this is more um, emotional based more oracle messages rather than the actual tarot. So we'll go ahead and start there. And I'm gonna pull three. Oh, right, well, I got two. Okay, surrender to the divine. So whoever, I think that's everybody. <laughs> Confidence is your key to success. Put on a good face, Leo's. I got Leo energy, new moon in Leo, that's what the car said, and it has a picture of a Leo on it, and it's funny how that's the only thing that's shining, and above it, there's a dim, um, a dim moon, you know, and all you can really see is that Leo, that lion, so maybe some of y'all need to allow y'all pride to kick in, bring love into the situation, okay, you may need to bring love into a situation, clearly. That means so that is fairly general, but again, everybody's not really going through the same thing. But if you're not going through that or feeling, you know, the emotions that come from that or you know, whatever comes to mind, generally you all literally have something that just pops in your mind when things happen or when you experience something, when you hear something, the first thing that literally pops in your mind. And a lot of times we don't think about it, we just do it. So it's just like, if I say popcorn, the first thing that popped in your mind was popcorn. You know what I'm saying? Without you having to just think about it, but you literally thought about it, you processed it real fast. So I think, um, again, if you're not going through the message that's actually here, still allow, the message to give you some type of information. Something that, take from the message something that you can utilize. So if you hear something, the first thing that pop in your head, maybe that's really what it is that you need to be focused on. <laughs> Siri, you just, that's it, okay? Simple as that. 
So eight of wands in reverse, there's block communication somewhere. And in this situation, there needs to be some type of rebirth. Page of Wands. And there's a lack of creativity, I feel like, a lack of ideas. Now, right now, I feel like we have the Eight of Wands in reverse, we have the Death card, and then we have the Page of Wands in reverse. So this just tells me that there's a lot of blockage in a situation where there needs to be a rebirth. Something is not being said or something is not being done. Something is on pause for whoever this is. Maybe you're in a situation where you want some communication and it's not coming through or there's just some type of communication is not coming through. And so again, this might not be, somebody might not be looking for a call but or, or a text or something where information specifically needs to be relayed to you, you know? And it's just like, there's a sense of a lack of creativity. Maybe you have an idea that's on pause, that an, an idea that you wanna express, but you have it on pause. Maybe you need to go through something first before, you know, moving on to the next creative idea. Maybe you need to slow down. So Five of Swords, so I feel like there's also some type of constant thought happening, like constantly thinking about something. Are you constantly thinking about something? <laughs> what do you think about more often than anything else? Like for instance, most people don't sit and just think about shoes all day if all day all you really think about is shoes like literally when you wake up shoes then unless you have some type of disorder which it, not too many people have that disorder or at least that you really hear about but i'm sure people do have that disorder it's just that if you don't have that disorder, there's no reason for you to be thinking about shoes all day. Now, throughout the day, I'll think about all of the things, and I'm an Aquarius, so I think about all of the things that I need to do. I think about my goals. Like, I think about all sorts of shit. I don't just think about one particular thing majority of the day. Now, I will say if I'm going through a situation like a breakup, Throughout the day, I may think about that person I'm going through that situation with more because it's unsettled to my mind. So that particular situation just kind of was given more attention to, you know, so I might think about the individual or the situation maybe two thirds out of my day out of my day. But mind you, if you're thinking about multiple, 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 multiple things, then there's no reason for you to just be stuck on one. Like every day, you should not just be thinking about shoes. You know, you should be thinking about healthcare. You should be thinking about a clean system. You should be thinking about uh, uh, learning something new. What book are you going to read next? What book are you going to recommend to somebody next. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you're in your head. Here we go with the high priestess. You have high knowledge that you need a rebirth. You have high knowledge or you know sincerely deep down something in you says, you know what? I know even though I'm not doing it, I don't feel like doing it. I really don't. Like I got to think about it first. You know, you thinking about it and, you, and you're weighing out at this time what, what is and what is not. So, like I said, it's a thought, you have a lot, it's a lot of thought process and a lot of movement, or a lot of, it's like a lot of movement mentally, but not physically. So you're constantly in a, in a, in a, in a state of just constant thinking, which you should be, but don't overthink to the point where your creativity is on pause or you can't make decisions. You should be able to make decisions and think you know, like walking and chewing gum. Is that what they say? Rubbing your stomach and patting your head or whatever the fuck it is that, that, that people do, you know, two things at once. Because some people really aren't good at two things at once. And if you're not good at two things at once, you damn sure ain't going to be good at three things at once. Okay, so 
it just, <laughs> it is what that is. And it has to do with a lover. It has to do with an individual, okay? So I, you know what, it, it is what it is. Like a lot of time we put more priority thinking into other people and not necessarily ourselves, but you know, it's only human nature, but this is one of those situations where if you're doing that, you need to think about what it is that you're doing. Literally think about what it is that you're doing. Like, think about it. What am I doing? And retrace the steps in your head, okay? And just, and just think, is this crazy? Should I be doing this? What should I be doing? When you think about shoes, again, for example, I don't know why it is that I'm bringing up shoes, but when, and see now I just lost my train of thought. Listen, okay, so whenever you want something, right? You want a pair of shoes, you know, you, do you, do you ever stop to think, okay, I do have to get in my car and go all the way to this place. I have to pass all of these stores. I could run into traffic. Like, do you really think about these things before you go and get them shoes? You know what I'm saying? Do you literally think about the process or do, do you think about, you know, how it could possibly affect your pockets, how it could, you know what I'm saying? What am I willing to risk to go? You know, do you think about a lot of these things? I don't know if people do, but it's, it's like, it's like, you know, I'm trying to say it in a way that doesn't sound, because, you know, people can say shit and then people say it so much. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's not even, it's not even an interesting quote anymore. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just like to be a little bit more specific and different. We got the hangman in reverse. So again, a lot of people feeling stuck right now. It's a lot of people feeling stuck right now. And you know what, something else, people always be saying, oh, well, in tarot, that could be anybody. You got damn right. So apply it to your life. If you know it could be anybody, then anybody includes you. So please take that knowledge and utilize it, okay? If it's not you or your situation, so still learn the fuck from it. Like, it's not nothing wrong with that. People be tripping me out. Oh, well, that could be anybody. Okay, we'll apply it to your life because if you're hearing it at that point, maybe it's something you need to hear. People be trying to act like, oh, it's coincidence. Like, like sit down. We, we in 2020, okay? Language and everything else is still the same. We just not really learning it. So, or well, at least some of us, okay? The Knight of Cups. I feel like... Let me pull one more. Two of Wands. Not being able to make a decision. Okay. Not being able to make a decision. Okay. And I feel like it's with like a boyfriend or a girlfriend or maybe, yeah, I feel like you stuck on, maybe, and, and I'm getting kind of like two stories, okay, I feel like you stuck on, you stuck in a two-person situation, you got this, because we got the lover's card here, but it's like the two of wands is like you just, you on pause, you can't really make up your mind on what it is that you want to do, like you just can't make up your mind you want to communicate something but you know you need to fix yourself it's like you're not really feeling too creative at this time you just on pause you coming up with ideas you thinking about this person it's like it's too much okay let's pick a um a romance angel card because some people right now not going through no heartache some people not some people happy in a relationship this one don't really sound like a happy relationship but we got the lovers upright as opposed to upside down so reconciliation so maybe okay so past situation and see this true love at the bottom of the deck and i didn't even try to do that but so what I'm getting is you are an individual who wants to communicate something to somebody, but you can't. 
you know what's right you know what needs to be done you it's like you know but you in your head because you feel like you feel like maybe I feel like you feel like maybe this person won't take you back. And I say that because we have rec reconciliation, which means coming back together. Someone from your past is returning into your life. So you know, I feel like what happened, you know what happened in this particular situation with this particular individual. You know what happened. And I feel like you're stuck between this person this person is like whoever you're dealing with it's like they trying to give you something but they got an attitude about giving it to you that's what i feel like it's like this person is giving you something and it's like here they giving it to you but it's like they got an attitude about giving it to you could be sex it could be food I feel like like I cook for you okay there it is go eat you know what I'm saying that kind of ordeal I feel like let's get some clarification right here because okay, look, that's that's the energy I'm getting and this is for a specific this is for specific people this is very detailed and I'm going to be very detailed or at least you know I'm going to be very very detailed with y'all and then I'm a, I'm a I'm Virgo moon, so I, I kind of see everything. You know, I don't be missing a beat. I really be aiming to look for stuff that most people don't don't look for or whatever. Not trying to sound, you know, because I feel like I kind of sounded a little conceited, but please understand, y'all, I am not conceited. I just, I've been guided here. I have high intuition, um, very intellectual. So I be knowing what I'm talking about, okay? And so, um... Yeah, like this is a little specific. And again, everybody is not going through this. So if it don't apply to you, just still take something from out of it, okay? Now, if you want to see also other videos um, that I've done, you can go on YouTube, Desiree AC, okay? Or you can go on Instagram or Facebook. I have a couple of little videos on there, but YouTube is where it is. And everything is going to be, again, in the description box somewhere where you can find it. So... <laughs> You don't really have no excuse to not hear your message. That's on you. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just here. I'm supposed to be here. I signed a deal with spirituality and the universe when I, when I came here to do this. So I'm at work right now. Okay. I'm at work. So don't be mad at me for delivering the message. Don't be mad because I'm all in your business. <laughs> I get rewarded for it. Okay. So we're going to get a little bit more deeper because I want to see what is going on. What is this eight of wands? Maybe you need, you need to surrender to the universe. Maybe you need to stop what you're doing and surrender to the universe. What is this? See, you stop in communication with a collaboration. I feel like you want to be a part of, you want to be a part of this collaboration. And it's like, nah, not right now. It's like a pause. It's like a pause. What is this? death card see inner conflict you know and see i can't even make that up the definition of this card is like internal turmoil or like conflict that's what this card means and it's right over the death card and the death card means a rebirth a transition something something new ending an old cycle and restarting over like you know what i'm saying just like your birthday every year you don't you you transform you start over you start you know you start fresh not oh well you can start over too but you start in fresh you know what i'm saying like okay this year like most people when they be lying they be lying and saying for new years i'm gonna I'm a do all of this and then two 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 hours later they still doing the same thing but they done you know what i'm saying so that transition on you know what i'm really gonna stop drinking soda and literally drink water and for like the last year and a half i have not had one soda actually i take that back i had um what was it it was water soda it was soda water and i didn't even like it but i still like sipped it so i don't know if that counts or not but i have not picked up a soda 
in over a year and a half, okay? And I literally just recently started drinking water, okay? So listen, and I picked this out of a deck. So listen, inner conflict with yourself is because you know you have, you know, you know, because this message is for you. You know you had a player energy, meaning you was going out here, you was messing around over here with this joint, the way you mess with this joint, you was, you know, talking to this joint, you know, maybe flirt with this joint. You know what I'm saying? But this was the main joint. This was the 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 the, the main side piece joint. And I with these three the most, you know what I'm saying? But then when you do that you throwing off energies of everybody. You know what I'm saying? And that negative energy or that negative intent, okay? That negative intent, okay? Be circulating throughout the entire collaboration. What is this page of wands in reverse? Empress in reverse, somebody immature. You know, it's like you wanna stop, you wanna stop, you wanna stop a relationship with an immature person, probably a baby mama or a baby daddy, you know, whichever way it fits. If you a guy, baby mama. If you a girl, baby daddy, period. And it's like you want to get away from this mature energy, maybe to get to somebody else that you know ain't playing all of that. I'm just saying with the cards that I could be talking to any motherfucking body. I'm talking to people I don't even know who I, I I'm talking to people I ain't never just seen. So like I said, apply it to your life. Look at it as a, a nice little informative message from the universe to specifically you. This five of swords, eight of wands in reverse, no communication. It's like you making a plan to cut somebody to fuck off or to cut off communication. You making a heavy duty plan to cut off communication with somebody so that you can reconcile with somebody else. That's what this is. So whoever whoever is going through this right now, okay? You know, you know, you know you ain't shit. 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 I mean, it is what it is because when you don't when you do ain't shit things, you ain't shit. When you literally do ain't shit things, you ain't shit. And so you did something with multiple people and now you 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 picking up the weight of what is this high priestess oh my god lovers in reverse this could have been any card you know the relationship that you in ain't bringing you no love and that lover's card popped up right next to the other lover's card we got both of the lover's cards and one is upside down and the other one is not. So you are literally trying to get away from one situation. And it don't mean that you're trying to get to another situation. It could just mean that, you know what I'm saying? It could just mean that you left one situation to go to something else, maybe possibly work. But or it could be family, but I feel like this is a uh, a romantic relationship. What is this lovers? Four of wands in reverse, some type of family, an unhappy family. Maybe you feel like you want to have an unfa- uh, 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 uh. universe. Why is y'all playing? Like, it's like, I'm just playing. That's not, that's not y'all. It's me. Okay, look, you have an unhappy, maybe you feel like you're having an unhappy home with both. See, that's what I'm talking about. The side piece ain't shit and, and the main joint ain't shit. True love is what's it. See that? That was at the bottom of the deck. Rewind this where I said that. Okay. What, hold up. Oh, the car under that said attraction. Just whatever. See, you may be you, you attracted to who you trying to reconcile with. So the reconciliation ain't even on the roster. Ain't even on the team. Okay, ain't even on the motherfucking team. They ain't even on the motherfucking team. They ain't even on the team. They not playing. They don't want to get a ring. Okay, at least not from this joint. Not from this this thing. Nah, nah, nah. They ain't trying to do all that. Nope. They talking about some nah. I ain't on the roster. You know why? Because I don't compete. I don't need to compete. All of them is competing. And this don't even have to do with looks. I can be ugly as hell, 
But guess what? I'm money motivated. I'm spiritually motivated. So guess what? I understand shit. So I don't have to compete with no motherfucking body. What do it look like a bunch of good looking dudes competing with each other? All y'all look good differently. So the fuck? You might look good and you know your package small and you feel bad about that, but somebody will love it. Shit. What's this hangman in reverse? The hierophant. You stuck. It's like maybe you you so stuck you getting information from somebody else. You getting some advice from somebody. Maybe you seeking therapy because a lot of times when you when you emotionally disconnected with yourself to the point where you get depressed, you do need to talk to people. You do need to talk to people. When you bottle it in, it don't help because if you don't already know how to deal with it, if you if you got headaches and you overthinking you overthinking because you don't know how to deal with it. And so you know to go to somebody who do know how to deal with it or who may not be going through it like you are, okay? If both of us is going through it, we not learning shit. But we need somebody who has a decent mindset or a decent understanding, okay? So let's talk to somebody that got a little bit more sense than we do, okay? That's really all it is. And who is this Knight of Cups? Who is this girlfriend, boyfriend who is who is giving you something with an attitude? Who is this? See, Page of Wands. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's the other person. The other person probably like, well, oh, you get on my nerves, but I, but I want you to, okay? Like, yes. Like you get on my nerves and I shouldn't take you back, but I want you, okay? I want you, yes, I want you. And maybe that's who it is. Or maybe that's you. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? The roles could be in reverse. Whoever it is in specifics, because you're dealing with multiple people right now. Two of Wands. And, and y'all know that's a lot of y'all. So don't even sit here and try to hit me with the, um. Or that can be anybody. You damn right. It's a whole bunch of y'all. So stop faking. Y'all be trying. People be out here trying to use quotes to make it seem like, it's like people be trying to use quotes to make sense of something the nonsense making way but really you can make all the sense in the world if you just make sense like i don't know two of wands i'm not playing with none of y'all knight of swords in reverse whoever this person is is overwhelming the situation is overwhelming he or she is overwhelming overbearing like you doing too much and it's like i'm not trying to run towards that i'm not trying to run towards that i know i ain't trying to run towards that okay i know i'm not trying to run towards that you trying to you know what I'm saying? Reconcile. So, y'all, we're going to get slightly deeper, okay? Slightly deeper. We're going to get slightly deeper, okay? Because some of y'all really need to hear this, and I feel like this is in to some specific and like i said this is for general this is for the general public okay this can be for anybody this can be for anybody okay oh hold up hold up i done shuffled backwards and hold on let me get my cards all right y'all excuse me i don't even be know okay i'm back so no i'm not thought that long okay listen here we go here we go i'm trying to see i'm trying to get a little bit more deep this card was just itching to come out the strength card you have strength okay and look at my look at my nail y'all why do i always be coming on here with messed up nails but anyway look and it's but it's only this one and i'm about to get them done so leave me alone anyway you got the strength and I think you you know you got the strength. It's like you know you want to do it, but you just don't want to get out your comfort zone. You 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 acting like life don't go on. Why do we be over over exaggerating everything? Like if something can be fixed, which is pretty much everything, everything in my opinion can be fixed. Almost. Majority of things can be fixed. And a lot of time we be stressing out over shit that once we get out of it, it's like, damn, it's a relief. And you know it's going to be a relief once once you get out the situation. So why do we keep ourselves so entangled? We keep ourselves so entangled. Because when we be getting out of situations, we be happy as hell we done got out that shit. 
but we be so scared that we keep ourselves in it. Do you get that? Do y'all y'all see see how this is? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay. Hmm. Four wands in reverse. You got the strength to get out of this this unhappy home. You're in a unhappy home and you have the strength to get out. You have the strength to get out of this unhappy home. Okay. Temperance, balance, harmony. Getting out of it will get will get you balance and harmony. Like what what is what is going on like seriously y'all we be overthinking shit like don't it feel better to get out of situations and a lot of time when we forced to make a move like when we get fired you know what i'm saying the first thing somebody should do is be trying to get online and get another job like it's just literally that simple people be acting like oh my god i lost my job what the fuck am i going to do get another job create a job fuck getting another job create a job now you don't you don't got shit but time so indulge in something that's going to get you some long-term money. That's going to get you in a place where you don't have to deal with that. Like money, y'all, come on. It's really just, it's really just that simple. Like it really is. Okay. Look at this queen of wands. It's like you or this person is being immature. And I'm telling y'all when a person is immature, it's going to rub off on you. You know why? Because then you don't make decisions that would be mature. You start, even if you aren't on the same wavelength as somebody, you can be negative and they can be negative, but y'all can be different negatives. You know what I'm saying? You might be the type to fight somebody. This person might not be, this person might just be like lazy to the point where they don't, they don't care to pick up behind themselves. They don't care to do certain shit. And so those are two types of negatives. You know what I'm saying? People that's dirty and then people that don't think. That's two types of negatives, okay? So when you be around somebody, it's like you be so mad that you don't make the right decision and you keep not making the right decision because you mad. But when you not with this person, you be like, man, that's that was a good, man, that was a good decision. I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I did that. That was a really good decision. And y'all be knowing, y'all can pick and choose which decisions is good all you want to. But when you know it's a good decision and you done got something good from that good decision, it feel a whole lot better than when you knew you was being stupid. Okay? And y'all be knowing y'all be being stupid. So stop playing with y'all sales. Stop playing with y'all sales. Okay? Stop playing with yourself. And let go of that negative energy because as long as you're holding on to that negative energy, you probably probably going to keep making wrong decisions until you at a point to where you can't no, no longer make wrong decisions because you don't put yourself so deep in a situation. You know what I'm saying? Nine of wands, get out, get out of feeling struggle. That nine of wands in reverse, get out of feeling the fuck struggle. Get out of, uh, you know what I'm saying? Feeling like you, you, it's like you can't pick yourself up. You can't do shit right now. You feel like I ain't shit. I'm working. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Uh, but I still ain't shit. I still ain't shit. And you keeping yourself in that energy. When we all fuck up, that's why I don't be judging nobody because I be doing some stupid shit too, okay? But it's a matter of knowing when you're spiritual and you connect with yourself. I talk to myself all the time. I talk to the people and, and not the people, but the energies in my mind. You know, the inside of my mind, I got a whole world in there. And it's like it's like a, a whole fantasy, a, a fantasy headquarters, the, the, the Desiree fantasy headquarters. And everything happens here. Everything. Okay, I got my financial department, I got my spiritual department, I got my family department. Okay, I got my creative endeavor, creative endeavor, creative endeavor department. Okay, I have all of these different departments. Okay, and I have all of these particular elements of my body that work a particular type of way. 
when I eat certain foods, I connect messages be sent from one mailbox to the other, okay? From one organ to the other. When I drink water, okay, that's, that's, that's my workout room. In my body, in my mind, I have a workout area. So when I go in there, I tell myself all the things that I need to do to work out or I drink, make sure you drinking water on a daily basis, okay? I got a receptionist desk in my mind, okay? And there, you know, you, you, you can contact anybody. You can contact anybody. I be contacting the Aquarius aspect of myself. I be I, I, I be contacting the Virgo aspect of myself, the 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 Taurus aspect of myself. I'm Aquarius Sun, Virgo Moon, okay, um, Taurus rising. And so I, I talk to each one of those, and then I got my soul in there. So then my flesh and my soul have to connect as well. And I be having whole conversations with each of these, each of these assets in my body. At least that's how I be thinking in my mind. I, I my my shit is way more better than 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 the men in black. You know what I'm saying? How that futuristic kind of in my mind, I got all of this cool shit. I'm I'm set up. I'm wired. I got everything I need in here and all of my body parts and all of everything function properly. You know what I'm saying? Because I can think and I connect with my higher source while I'm at work doing this right now. Okay. So it's like, yeah, it goes deeper than surface level. It really does. These are things that you have to think about. And these things affect the shit that you have going on in your life. Last card. Eight of Wands, make the conscious communication. Make the change. Turn that, and we got the Eight of Wands on the board too, okay? Change that. Change that. Change the situation, okay? Maybe this was your, maybe this was that message to communicate. Maybe this was that message to fucking communicate. Maybe this was that, oh, there's that, there's that. What the fuck am I looking for? Oh, there's that clue, there's that trigger, there's that, but that's not the word I'm looking for. Like, there we go, that was the, that was the, <laughs> what is that word I'm looking for, y'all? I can't even think about it right now, but look, okay, whatever. So this is, that was, that was what you needed to see, okay? <laughs> I'm still trying to think it's a specific word. There goes that. See, there's the, man, whatever. I ain't even worried about it. And y'all can judge me all you want. I don't give a fuck. I'm just saying like, okay, whatever. So there it is. The message is stop playing with all of these people and communicate properly to who you need to communicate to people more people need to learn how to communicate okay people need to learn how to communicate and i'm about to um i'm about to record this because i like this little scenery right here but um yeah like oh let me cut that off Okay, y'all. I'm I'm recording right now, so uh, well for anybody can see it because this is gonna go my podcast. Flicking on my big podcast as well, y'all. As soon as I can free up some more time on there, but um, yes, like stop playing with whoever it is that you playing with. Stop playing with whoever it is that you're playing with and make the con conscious effort to change, you know, your situation. Do something different because you always feel better. Like you always feel better. You always feel better. When you're in a nasty ass situation or, or a stuck ass situation, you generally always feel better once you're out of it. And you know you feel better once you're out of it. Okay, y'all stop playing with yourselves. Communicate to all parties, not just to who you want to. Because it's like you're not really communicating with neither. But communicate with everybody. 
communicate with everybody. And I don't want to hear all of that. Oh, I always say that. We'll say it a different way. Okay. Say it in a way if you can't, if it can be broken down a little bit better than what you, it, it always can in a way that people can understand. At, at some point, they're just choosing not to understand. If dogs can't understand, uh, if dogs can't understand, if animals can't understand, and animals are very smart animals, okay? Animals are very smart beings. So, well, I don't really know if they're considered beings, but I'm sure they have souls as well. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just kind of one of them situations where, like, yeah, like, animals are smart too. And I know you know you're smarter than an animal. So, y'all, animals generally make make the right decisions you know to them they make decisions and they better a lot of them a lot of animals is better at making decisions than fucking people so that's a problem and if anybody don't see that to be a problem then something is the fuck wrong with you like <laughs> point blank period so yes y'all that's y'all message that was the download and i know a couple of y'all if not everybody can resonate from this situation. Everybody can resonate from this situation in some form or fashion, okay? So y'all make sure to follow me on all of my social media. I'll go ahead and just say it anyway. Instagram, Snapchat, Desi DC. Instagram, Snapchat, Desi DC, D-E-Z-I-D-C, okay? Um, Facebook. YouTube, Desiree, A-C, that's D-E-S-I-R-E-E, -E, capital A, capital C, on Instagram, on YouTube, and Facebook. I also have Flicking on my Bic podcast. You can go on my Instagram channel and, or my Instagram po profile, click the link, and it'll take you to Buzzsprout, or actually it'll take you to my my website and then you can click on the bus route link and it'll take you to my podcast or you can go on other social medias because I'm on iHeartRadio, I'm also on Pandora, uh, Spotify, I'm on numerous sources. Now there are some sources that I'm not currently on those particular platforms but for the most part you can find me on any one of those. And like I said, on my Instagram and on my YouTube, I do more um, readings on there. So you can go and find your actual sign and see if it relates to you. If this is so, leave me a comment, let me know, okay? And so just, you know, let me know, let me know. Let me know, do you like the message? Anything that you all may wanna see differently, I don't know, but I wanna communicate to you guys. And I feel like this is one of the best ways I know how and this is a universal message. So I feel like anybody can learn or take something from this situation, even if it is to tell somebody else something, okay? It just is what it is. So yes, the message is stop playing. Stop playing with yourself. Because when you do stupid stuff, you really doing it to yourself and you don't wanna treat yourself that way. You wanna treat yourself as if you in a relationship with the person that you really love, the person that you do right for, the person that, you know, you make sure you get them their food, you make sure you get them everything that they need, you know, you taking care of them, you being emotional, you know, all of that stuff. Whoever you would do that for, do that to you as well. Pamper yourself, love yourself, talk to yourself, all of them things that's going to make you better overall and make better decisions in anything that you do, okay? So, y'all, do right to yourself, period. See you guys next time. Oh, it did not end. Hold on.